Hey guys, welcome to the third video of my series on regex in Python. And in the last video, we just got a basic understanding of how to implement the regular expressions in Python programming language. And through the end of the video, we saw a very interesting example where we needed to escape the beta character. We needed to escape the dollar symbol in order to um, match the $15 text in our given input right so that was the thing but now let us um, continue that thing and come to some another example which is related to that so let's say you have some window um, window style directory paths okay so in the window system you have this kind of directory paths. so you, you can have C windows which means that in the C drive you have a windows folder or C Python or C Windows system 32 anything like that so this is my text and what I need to do here is that I want to um, search for this particular thing C Windows System 32. So assume that you have some file in which you have a lot of Windows directory paths written in this format and you want to search for a particular path which is C Windows System 32. So how will you do that? So till now what we have understood we will simply write this particular thing C Windows System 32 we will run that and we will try to search for it and look at that we are getting the thing right so it is done so we are not getting any matches in the pattern and why is it so it is so because backslash is actually a meta character and it needs to be escaped if you want to use it like a literal because it is a part of our input and we want to use it like a literal because we want to match it as it is right so what we can do here is we can simply put double backslash right so by putting double backslash what we are doing is we are escaping our backslash so that it can be used like a literal so let us try that now pattern is this let us search for it look at that we are again getting nothing it is none so this is quite interesting because in the last video by the end of it that we were trying to do the, do the same thing for the dollar symbol like when we were trying to doing we were trying to do this it was working for us this particular thing was actually working like a literal but right now what we are seeing is that double slash 15 in which uh, if we write it like this it will not work as a literal so let us try to see why is it happening so let me try to print my pattern here look at that when i try to print c double slash windows double slash system 32 what is happening the double slash becomes a single backslash so this is quite interesting because um, this is happening because of the python interpreter so actually what is happening is that um, the Python interpreter will consider two backslashes as one because it, it, it also uses the concept of backslash for escaping several characters. So as you must have uh, learned about hello slash n world. So if I just try to run it, look at that slash n is not in your text because it has been replaced with an escape sequence. So in the same way, double slash is also an escape sequence which is used for printing the backslash in the Python programming language. So if you just try to run this, you will get a single backslash because double backslash is an escape sequence for printing a single backslash. So this is the property of the Python interpreter. So this is the problem. So the solution here is that we need to do escaping at two levels. We need to do escaping at two different levels. At the first level, the Python interpreter will itself perform the substitution of double slash into a single slash as you can see and actually we are passing this to the regex engine so if you are passing a single backslash to the regex engine what it will do it will simply consider it as a meta character not as a literal because regex engine also wants a double backslash here right so that is the thing so how do you do that so in order to do that what we need to do is we need to do double escaping so like if we had this particular thing here so let me just put it here and let me put double backslash is here so look at that this is what we are getting c double backslash windows double backslash system 32 so this is what we want to be inputted to our regex engine because only this is what it needs because in this way when regex engine will read this particular expression it will treat the backslash like a literal not a meta character so we need four backslashes so this is looking quite ugly because as we can see that we needed just a sing we were uh, we required to match a single backslash. So for batching a single backslash in our input, we have to put four backslashes in our expression. 
so let me just read it to just see if it is working look at that yeah it's working so from 20 to 41 we have got this c windows system 32 like this so um so this is how you do it you have to put four backslashes which is quite weird right so if you had to match two backslashes back to back in your input you will have to put eight backslashes in a row so this is the problem and this is actually called backslash plague because you are using a lot of backslashes for creating your expression so now um, let us try to simplify this thing a bit so thus can we use two backslashes instead of four here well we can use two black backslashes instead of four by using the concept of something called raw strings so in python there is something called raw string which is if you put r before your string something like this then this part will be called this will be called a raw string so print this and it is a raw string so now the property of raw string is that if you put um any kind of escape sequence in your raw string it is not processed by the interpreter so hello slash and world is what you get but if you put print hello slash and world like a simple string you get a new line but here you are getting your escape sequence as it is so what do we learn from this we learn that the python interpreter will not change anything in your string if you are using a raw string right so now what we can do is we can use the concept of raw string by putting an r here and now we only need to put two double two backslashes these two backslashes are for the regex engine not the python interpreter because python interpreter has nothing to do with your backslashes now right so regex engine needs needs only two backslashes to consider it as a single literal backslash so this thing will also work so look at that how from four backslashes we have reached to two backslashes but now let us try to think do we really need two backslashes can we not do it in a single backslash as we are trying to match a single backslash well you can do that um, but there is a condition if you are not using any meta character in your regular expression in that case you can use something called re.escape so what re.escape does is that it will escape all the meta characters in your regular expression so if you have written a regular expression like this what it will do is it will find all the things which can be treated like a uh, which can be treated like a meta character and it will escape all of them so let us try to see so look at that it has escaped your colon because that is also a meta character any kind of special character is actually a meta character so colon becomes colon gets escaped the single backslash before w gets escaped and this also gets escaped so you have to write re.escape in which you passed your normal string and now you have got an escaped string which is perfect so that is what you need to pass so in the re.search function i am passing re.escape in which i am passing the text my expression with single backslash so let us see if it works or not look at that it is also working so this is how by using re.escape we have written an expression in which we needed to put only a single backslash because re.escape took the care of escaping right but there is a catch here if your expression contains some meta character which you actually want to use as a meta character then this might not be a solution for you because re.escape will blindly escape all the meta characters in your expression right uh, just fortunately in this case we did not need any kind of meta character so we escaped the complete expression and we got our desired result so that is what you need to remember here so yeah so this was all about the backslash plague i hope you enjoyed it we went from four backslashes to two and then to a single we learned three different ways of solving this backslash plague problem and i hope the concept is clear if you still have a doubt you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching